You don't want to show up as a copycat, huh? Come on, you can do it. Put it on. I'm w one step ahead of you. I put my hat on, you copy me, I take it off. What's next? What's your next move? Anyone who's been watching this podcast for any length of time knows who wears the stocking cap and who yeah, doesn't. Because I've done this every morning, just just before the call. If All I, right. I heard so many comments. It's All right. the right guy wearing the hat. You could take it to put it yes. a little bit lower. You're the white guy, I'm the right guy. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we got a hot topic controversy today. A controversy. Hans is ready to let women off the hook, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. What are you talking about? So I think this is much bigger. You know, the, what I was saying is I said we could call women out for settling for men who are weak. Who, and by that I mean, I don't just mean like a, a good guy or a nice guy. I mean a guy who's not going to fucking do whatever it takes to protect his family and to stand up for him and for himself and to bring home the bacon, whatever it takes. And I've lately seen women who are in my life settling. Well, not settling, but it's like they did a while ago. You know, like there's their their relationship with men who are simply not willing to do what it takes. And then they're suffering. And uh, so, you know, their family's suffering. And your point is? Well, I'm listening. I'm trying to understand what you're saying, because my first reaction is. How do they know, you know, they can take care of the family until shit hit the fan. So they only know down the road. And two, I really think that women have it a lot worse than men in the, in the sense like, like I call them out for perpetuating the games that we're playing. But I do think that the, like, I, I, never, I never blame women or men for the situation that we're in, but I do blame them for perpetuating uh, the game and I do think that the, the solution for the relational mess that we're in is in the hands of men and not of women so yes in many respects yes but I'm not talking about blame here I'm talking about calling out like a like a warning like yes. a call like a like a wake-up call so what what you see them choose the wrong man like yes you see them choose and the it's wrong not man. Just, it's not just about choose the wrong man but Choose a man who's not yet a warrior in yes. a sense, thinking that maybe he'll change or he'll become that guy later yes. on. And, and she cannot change him into that. And do you, do you see women choose those men over greater men? Or do you say, well, if there are no greater men, you should not be with a man? Like, like what I, choice do I they have? That Sometimes, especially in today's day and age, you have an idea that, for example, you judge the patriarchy, you judge your father, and you have this idea that men should be some version of a, of a nice guy, some mm -hmm. version of a, you know, feminist, mm -hmm. kind, super respectful, mm -hmm. all of this stuff. And then you get with that guy, and only later do you realize, fuck, you know? He doesn't show up. He doesn't does what, doesn't do what he says he's gonna do. Right. He doesn't uh, confront people. He doesn't compete for the mm -hmm. the promotion. He doesn't, uh, you know, like do whatever it takes. And, right. And and women know in a way, like they know when they're with a guy that they can get whatever they want. Mm -hmm. A guy who's gonna just, you know, if they get a little bit emotional or whatever, he. Let's them get what they want. Uh -huh. Women know this. And I think they have, I've never been a woman, <laughs> but I think they have a warning that says, you know, like, and, and, and it might be somewhat attractive to them. Yes, but let me ask you then again, like what choice do they have? In your experience, I'm, do you see instances where she chooses that guy, that guy because she can 
whatever you're saying. I think a lot of times women choose a guy thinking that they can change him, thinking, "Oh, well, he's you know." But do, do they do they do they have choice between good boys, say, and great men, and they choose good boys? Well, certainly, what you're pointing at is that there are a lot of men who are not warriors in life. I, I concede that. Yes. So what? Don't settle. And the point is, you're going to end up miserable. Yes. You're going to end up miserable. What's your tr- you're going to end up resenting him. You're going to end up yes. uh, resenting him in front of your children. You're going to, and it's going to affect your children not respecting men or their father. It, it, you're going to, I mean, it's, it's a whole pathway. Better to, it, what I'm saying is hold a high standard. Hold a high standard. If you went and said, out, okay, every woman should choose the warrior and nothing else. Okay, yeah, there would be a, maybe there would be not be enough uh, guys for them to, to marry or, or whatever. But um, to the individual woman, you can certainly say, hold your standard high and look for X in a man. Mm. And I think, I think a big part of the, the issue really is that we have these new ideas about a new masculinity or in, let's, let's have men be like this from here into the future, kind of ignoring men's nature yes. and kind of, a, kind of thinking, well, I can, you know, and like it's somehow their job to train the well, domesticated more, uh, let's say. Yes. Well, I can totally see that the discourse is there. Like the public discourse is this one. Discourse. The, uh, Discord or discourse? Discourse. Uh, the public re- rhetoric is certainly one like this. When you talk about like what do you want, what you need, what you know, that's certainly this. This is the way we converse. But and this points to like the same question that I'm asking you. Because in my experience, whatever women say they want, whatever they say is right, and ah, and fuck that or whatever, you know, like. In my experience, when they are faced with like choosing for a good boy or a great man or even a wild man, you know, even if they think they want to, they choose the wild man. Like I have zero, like even if they're going to protest against it and, and, and I say it's no and, and I don't want whatever, bad well, guys. Well, maybe, so, maybe so, to sleep with, but uh, that, then there's the, the, the dilemma that women often have. Do I want to choose the guy who's who I'm sure is going to be a good provider? Yes. Or or a good a father or something or or the wild man. If that wild man, that's what I'm saying. If that wild man, he has all the cards. He has all the cards, and he could he could call the shots and he could lead that. He could make that relationship into whatever he wants to be. Yes. You know? And so, like, like I'm not. When I see women choosing weak men, my experience of that is that they have no other choices. They have no other choices and and they certainly don't have the solution in hand to make to make those men great. Yeah? It's really they, our job. They, they are limited in making the men great for sure, but they can hold a high standard. They can hold a high standard for themselves, absolutely. And in fact, I would say that's what a father's role is for his daughter is to make sure she holds a high standard and, and has a guy who's going to protect her. And, and you know, and then also the, the father is like going to face the guy mm-hmm. and, and, and vet the guy, you know, who his, his daughter's going to be with. So there's certainly a call to men there. You know, there's a call to fathers as well, brothers as well, um, to help vet the men that the woman is going to, mm-hmm. you know, Bring into the family, commit to, raise children with. Um, but I, it's it's very frustrating for me because. Um, yeah, where is the frustration? Where do you see it? Well, I'm not going to speak about people in my immediate life, but but yeah, you know, people, women close to me, dealing with, um, you know. Men who are not willing to do whatever it takes. What should she have done? Or what should she do? Well, what should she do now is, uh, is, it's not really the topic of what I was talking about here. What I'm saying is in the future, like, let's say that, you know, she's single again, or let's say that other women 
younger women or whatever. Um, choose, you know, and it's not just like some guys are like alpha and some are not. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about guys reaching a place in their development where they are, they're essentially warriors. They're willing to do whatever mm -hmm. it fucking takes. Mm -hmm. They show up. They get the ball across the goal line. They do what they say they're going to do. They're a man. That's what I consider a man. You say you're going to do something, you do it. You don't do it, you, you go and then face up and you make it right. Um, you know, you, you, people can count on you. Mm -hmm. It's not, you don't give your word and then you don't do it and then you have excuses and you, it's like, and you're a, a, a little boy living with his mother, waiting for the mother to discipline you and tell you what to do and, and you know, it's, it's you have a higher standard for yourself than even the woman that you're living with. Like there's no way that you wouldn't get the ball across the goal line, that you wouldn't defend your family, that you wouldn't stand up. And uh, this is, this is, uh, you know, we could, we could definitely speak to the men here, but we usually speak to the men on this, uh, on this show. So this one, this was like, we can also, my thought here was we can also put a call out to women, you know, to hold that high standard. I, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not fighting it, but I can't see it. Like to me, what I see is there, there's women have so little choice of warriors. There's so few warriors that they settle for men that are not warriors. But when they have the choice between say a good boy and a warrior, I have like, they choose warriors. They will. And they do. It's not even about that. They can say, before I marry you, you need to display X behavior. You know, it's not like only choose. It's not. Yeah, hold a high standard. You know, um, don't wipe him up before he displays that kind of behavior. Otherwise, you're in a, I, you know, I think in most cases, you're in the shits because a boy has just married his mother, you know, and he, you know, and it, th th this, this also comes back to like, how is he with his mother? You know, is, is his mother running the show? Is he, is he going to do whatever his mother wants him to do? Like he wants to, he still wants to be a good boy for his mm. mother. That's probably an often a good indication. Um, and then, you know, how is the mother going to interfere with the marriage? Right, the the mother-in-law, so to speak. But you got to see the options, you know. To me, like, what's her option to say? Okay, I'm not doing anything until a warrior shows up, you know. I'm, means, I'm not. I'm not just saying that. Or, or, but she can also not. not she can also train meet, him into a warrior. She can also meet guys and say, "This is my standard," and you're not meeting that. So exactly, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying only meet warriors. I'm saying she's dating a guy. Yes. He's got to he, he's got to mature himself, revolve himself before she makes a commitment. Yes, and I'm and when he does, when he does not, like most men don't, what does she do? Most Stay alone. Most men don't. I would say that most men are not warriors. Okay, yes, but then she doesn't. What are the options them? of a woman in this world? You know, when there's only x x amount of warriors, say, you know, and and uh, and then the others are not. And her active I, role in I, trying to make you know, what, what wait, 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 wait. And her active role in trying to change someone goes really against the idea of like he's a warrior and does it for himself. What options does she have? Like, I'm not, I'm not justifying it. I, I, you know, I think it's it's good to like hold out, you know. But they're in a lot worse position than we I'll are. Tell you, some some of the okay in general, maybe that generalization is true. Maybe it's not. I don't like taking the pressure off of them, the challenge I'm putting to them. I don't like uh, making it easy to just not have, okay, just, just, well, you guys are in a tough situation. Yep. Just, just. Get I'm not saying, I'm not things. saying that either. But that's what I'm reacting to. That's what I, that's what I hear. So, um, one thing that women can do is they can do the work to honor their fathers and the, and, and the masculine, because I think oftentimes you know, when you have the judgment of that masculine father, mm -hmm. then, um, you know, you, 
Mm. Okay, here's what's like likely this. to happen is you marry a guy who's not the way you judge your father as being too masculine, basically. A guy you think is a quote unquote good guy, mm. right? But then you get uh, you get frustrated with him and you turn him into the worst side of your father. You turn him into the way that you judge your father mm. by your judgments of him. You, finally, at some point, he, he reacts and he becomes the worst aspects of your father. Mm. So I would say that what women can do is, is honor the masculine, honor their fathers. And uh, if we're going to go to what women can do, it's also to recognize the role of the father in, mm -hmm. in the home. Honor the father of your sons, of your daughters. You know, if you are a single uh, mother and, you know, you are, you are standing in judgment of the father and likely men in general and your own father, you are going to create in your son a barrier to becoming a great man mm -hmm. who could be a great, you know, um, protector and provider for the woman who he's going to be with, or for the women in his life. And, uh, you know, uh, a mother cannot be a father. Yes. There's a, there's a role for fathers. I, I see that the choice that women have, like in the spectrum of men available, is not, is not great. Their odds are not good. That's what I see. So I feel let, I, I let them maybe more of, I think the solution for things is way more in the hands of men than in the women. But I really like the idea of, uh, and I think it's very valuable, to honor your man or to honor the masculine. And that's, that's a great way to, like the trouble for me is not that they choose these men that, that, that are say weaker men, but the trouble with it is that they are standing in judgment and that they're not honoring the masculine, that they're not honoring their men that they're not uh, relating well. It's, I'd say it's both. But on the same hand, honor their mother because they likely judge their mother for being too feminine, too weak, too whatever. And now the, the women are oftentimes trying to essentially become the, the masculine. They're trying to be the masculine and they judge the ways. And then it maybe it wasn't their mother, maybe it was their grandmother or... Um, you know, some other pivotal woman or, or women in general in their life who they could judge as being too weak, too feminine, too soft, too nurturing, too whatever. So, man, honor thy mother, thy father and thy mother. <laughs> it's such a uh, profound uh, instruction. Mm. It's such a profound piece of wisdom. And, uh, yeah, especially if you want to not fuck up your children, <laughs> I would say... <laughs> we love you so don't disappoint us <laughs> but you know a a a man who is a strong man is not going to be very attracted to a woman who judges the masculine like that now he might if his you know Shit, they're even more fucked than the women <laughs> if that guy that good guy is not going to direct her into glory you know then she's even more fucked because yeah. that's what I see is like the only real solution, you know? Yeah, the, the guy who's not the warrior is not going to lead yes. the relationship to greatness. He's going to uh, try to keep things comfortable. He's going to try to keep her happy. Happy wife, happy life mantra, which uh, leads to nothing but compromise and mm. mediocrity, suffering, and uh, children not having a great... Uh, role model for a father mm. uh, what, what I see is is like we're not uh, we're in this mess all together you know and uh, I, I, I when I speak to people or groups or individual I say I, I don't blame men I don't blame women I don't blame you but I, I do blame anyone who's perpetuating the games but I do sense now, now with this question, and I see it clearly, that to me, the key to change is with, is with the men, way more than with the women. And that's why I, I just sense for women, it's, it, the situation is a lot more fucked up 
because they almost have to hope that they meet a warrior, you know, and man can become that warrior. They can do it. You know, they can, they can take charge and, and, uh, I, I really, uh, yeah, I really, man, I disagree with you on that. I, I think, you know, women are the gatekeepers. Women are the, you know, there's endless men out there who want in with the woman and, and, you know, um, I think, uh, I think the standard that women have these days is often they're looking for essentially a feminist guy. Mm -hmm. They're looking for a guy who they they think honors women. Like they 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 think that oh this is the kind of guy who honors women. Mm -hmm. And he ends up being a guy who doesn't stand up to her or stand up for himself and he puts up uh with her bullshit and uh he can't lead. He can't uh, lead There's himself even. And this is not to say all men who like identify as feminist are like that, but um, it's it's so easy for a guy to try to get the good graces of women, especially in today's society, to just say, "Well, yeah, I support all women, and I'm I, whatever you want." And yes, you know, because it's all a woman has to do with a guy who wants to be the good guy is uh, act upset. Act like he's not uh, valuing her, like mm -hmm. he's uh, doesn't respect her desires or her opinion, and he he's so easily manipulatable. And uh, you know, we we all have we all have a, a nature and a dark side. You know, you give a woman free reign of whatever. Yes, many will just do. Whatever. Well, there you go, and you just described that the key is with men. Because to me, the feminine is that. We try to make it safe. We try to make it comfortable. That's her role. That's what she does. I, I just say, you know, as someone who, like I stand in front of the events that I lead. Everyone as a human being is 100% responsible for their life, their relationships, and their situation. That's how I relate to people. So that's where I'm coming from. And yes, like I want to work with men. I really want to focus on the men. And I agree with you that that's where the most leverage is, you know, and that, and that mostly men are not, um, don't have elders. They're not being called into warriorship and greatness, you know, but women have a, a vital role in the whole game. And, uh, yeah, the, the mothers who are, the mothers who are, you know, it is, uh, it is um, something like two-thirds women who initiate divorce. If it's a college-educated woman in a relationship, she, in a marriage, she's 90% the one who initiates divorce. And uh, I'm saying there's a role there for women as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, you know, we're all in the shit. We're all facing the challenges. But it's... it's it's the mother as well as the father. It's the man as well as the woman. And uh, yeah, you can give guidance to, I mean, imagine you have a daughter. I have a daughter, which we don't, you know. But uh, I'd be like really holding the line on the kind of guys that mm -hmm. she's choosing, you know. And I would help to educate her on what to, you know, like this guy's not ready yet, you know. Um, and I, w I would want to give her that instruction. You know? Yes, and most women don't have that father who tells them that. Yeah. I mean, we agree. That's why I'm here today. Daddy is in, and daddy's home. Daddy's home. <laughs> but of course, there's a role, you know, I can, uh, we agree on that 100%. And I love the role in terms of like, honor your man, honor the masculine. I think that's a great thing, you know, really uh, like inspire your man. If you, if you honor your man, he's, he's capable of so much more, you know. So I can see a role there, one hundred percent. So, yeah, we t totally agree on that. You know, and um, you know, m mothers, mothers might have the greatest role in shaping the child, whether boy or girl, and uh, you know, at least up to a, to a certain point. But I think a lot of times in the the early years, you know, before, especially preteen years. It's um, the mothers, like who they tend to be around 
most of the time. And uh, so it's a, it's, it's a womb in a way, just mm -hmm. like it's a womb inside of her body, you know? And if it's, um, if it's toxic towards men and the masculine and uh, everything else, then that, that has a huge effect. You know, if she really honors her father, grandfather, men in general, whatever, then a, a son wants to become like that. If she's in judgment of the men in that way, man, the guy doesn't want to become anything like that. He wants to steer clear of being these assholes that mm. have hurt her mother. And uh, so it's, it's, um, I don't know if I'm about that. <laughs> so, you know, definitely we could talk about the other side, but I just wanted to, you know, about what men can do, you know? And it's, it's um, that, you know, men doing the work of honoring their father and their mother and honoring the feminine and the masculine. Like it's, it's that work is there a hundred percent for men to do as well. So if you're looking for like, like, how do I honor and how do I honor without, like when I say honor, I'm not meaning tolerate. I'm not meaning don't hold a high standard. I'm not meaning don't create boundaries. I'm not meaning any of those things. Compromising. Like, yeah, to honor doesn't mean to um, put up with BS. It doesn't mean to ignore the reality that your father or whoever is, is a tyrant or asshole or whatever. Right. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. So if you're curious about the honor work, Hit me up, hit us up, ladies, women, daughters, sisters, nieces. We gotta have an end phrase for Nia. You're the one. <laughs> Calling out to the Nias of the world. What was the Trinity? Was uh, Trinity? Was the the female of the Matrix? But. But she wasn't the one, right? No. Neo was the one there, yeah. Why not a female? A one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm... I, like, we, like, we 100% agree on, like, there's a role for women. It's just a different role than that for men. And that's what we need to, uh, explore. Like, what we said now is the, 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 what a woman can do is have high standards and honor your man. You know, we got to be more specific and get clearer on what it is that woman can do. What is their role into bringing relationships to a higher standard? You know? That's the real work because, of course, there's a role there, but it's not the same role as men. You know? And uh, that to me Fun. is an interesting question. Yeah, fundamental to that for me is, is honor thy father, honor thy mother. Mm -hmm. Like that's a, that's a, that's a primary starting place. That's foundational doing the honor work. I'm not just saying honor thy father and thy mother, but I'm talking about doing that inner work, you know, whether it's, it's, uh, the honor work that, that I've developed or some other way of doing that, you know, um, I think it's foundational. So, and, and I think that, uh, you know, I was seeing a, um, a young woman in Kenya earlier this year and she, you know, I learned that she had, she wasn't talking, she wouldn't talk to her father mm. and she had really harsh judgments towards her father. And there were a couple of instances where, um, you know, she drank too much. And then she, she really got, you know, nasty. And I realized what she was doing, what she was saying to me is what she most deeply wanted to say to her father. Mm -hmm. it, it really wasn't about me. It's what she most deeply wanted to say to her father. And, uh, and I realized how she's going to create a pattern of men leaving her. Like she's, she might attract good men because, I mean, she's gorgeous. She's a sweetheart. She's, you know, 
playful, she's feminine, all these things, but um, without that healed relationship with her father and men, she's going to turn mm. good men into her father. Whether that or they're gonna go, keep going away, keep leaving. Yes. And so uh, I've, you know, like I stay in communication with her and I keep coming back to her with that. And she reached out yesterday and I, I found a way to say that again. And then this morning I got a message from her and said, the message said, uh, she's, you know, she said, uh, <laughs> she called me goat. <laughs> the greatest of all time. <laughs> She calls me goat. She has very little experience, I, my I, friend. <laughs> I, I call her Boone for baboon. <laughs> it's like our racist pet names for each other. Because goats, the goats over there are white, you know, in Kenya. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the baboons are what? <laughs> they're dark skin, you know. But uh, so I thought you would it's, it's our, our pet names for each other. But anyway, she said, uh, she said I, I wanted to talk to you because we just found out that... Uh, my dad died wow. and I don't know what to think about it. And me and my mom, we can't attend his funeral. I don't know, maybe because of the lockdown, I don't know why, but I, I just got that message before this, uh, before the show. So, well, this is a good starting point, I think. And, but this is for both men and women. And the role in that is the same. And it really is about like how do you relate to one another, and it is, it is not being in judgment, but coming from honor and honoring each other. Yes. And I think really I agree with you that really foundational work um, in all of this is come to terms and honor your mother, honor your father, honor the masculine, honor the feminine, because that relationship with your parents is the one that really affects the way you look at yourself and the way you deal with the other. So in that sense, I think there's, there's a role for both men and women Absolutely. that's very similar. That is, that is, if you don't want to go through your relationship standing in judgment, which is the real issue to me, like we judge each other and that's the tools that we use to go through relationships. You know, if you want to use honor instead of judgment to, to navigate your relationships, to deal with those relationships with your mom and with your father are essential. Yes. Both for the man and the woman. Yes. You know, so and that's that's what the honor window process and work is designed for specifically. So I invite people who are curious about that. Uh, come to an honor window workshop or get with me to go through the honor work personally. Um, it's it's really profound and yeah, being you know, inquire and learn more about it. Um, or send a message, because I would like to set this up, and then we do one-on-one -on -one or a group if we have enough people. Yes. Let's do a group. Yes. Because I think that's an essential thing, you know, and and even to get a taste of how important this is, is is very valuable. Yes. So we'll be the ones helping people save their relationships. Yeah. It's uh, miracles happen inside Good. of the honor work. Hey, Stefan. Good two daddies talking to you. Hmm. I said, we got two daddies talking to you, <laughs> women of the world. We're here for you.